Are you ready for another shoot 'em up flying game? You know, Galaga style. Check out my review of Xeon 25 and find out if it's the shoot 'em up game that you need in your life. Starting now on Mumbles. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles. Today, I am here to bring you guys another game review. And I know I do this every Sunday, Monday, but uh, today I am going to bring you a game review of Xeon 25. Now, before we get into that, I have to ask you guys all a huge favor. Please, 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 if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to hit that little subscribe button. Also, ring the notification bell. And if you could, if you like the video, please do drop it a like. It helps the video be boosted in search results. It helps people find the channel. And you know, we can grow our community and make things better. And uh, just know how much I appreciate that, guys, from the bottom of my heart. Now let's talk about Xeon 25. Xeon 25 is a game that is available for Windows, Apple, and Linux, and can be picked up for the price of $3.99. Now, this game is created by Snagbox. S-N-A-G space B-O-X, Snagbox. And to this point, they have only created one other game, which is Puppies vs. Undead. Now, I looked this game up, and I have to be honest with you guys, it had one review on Steam, and it was made in February 2018. So, not a lot of help in that department as to what kind of game creator this is that we're dealing with. Xeon 25 can be picked up for the price of $3.99 on the Steam Marketplace. What is the actual description of this game given from the creators themselves? This is your next great opportunity to dive into 16-bit classic console era and master your play skill. Xeon 25 is an amazing 2D shoot 'em up experience with 90 vibes and hardcore gameplay. So not a lot of description there. So in my own words, what is this game? Basically, Xeon 25 is a Galaga-inspired game uh, with a little tiny bit of a story and with some weapon upgrades and things like that. Uh, and that's really what Xeon 25 is. Now let's talk about the graphics, the soundtrack, and the control. First off, the graphics in this game, I gotta admit guys, I'm a little disappointed in the graphics of this game. I feel like they reused graphics a lot. Like yes, there is different stages and things, but for like the first two levels, you're stuck in one area, same background, same enemies, and from there on out, the enemies are kind of all the same. They didn't like, you know, do anything that was mir miraculously different. So in that regard, I'm a little disappointed in the graphics. With that being said, they are crisp, clean, and on your first playthrough through, you'll probably like them. If you go for multiple playthroughs though, you're gonna kind of be like, this is kind of the same thing over and over again. Now let's talk about the soundtrack in this game. The sound, there is no rhyme or reason to this soundtrack. It is kind of just an all over kind of soundtrack, and you know what I'm gonna say. What am I gonna say, guys? You know what, you know, you know what I'm gonna say. That's right, guys. Gaming elevator music. It's just music there to mm -mm 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 -mm. kind of keep your attention, keep your focus, keep you enjoying the game. But for the most part, soundtrack is just whatever. Control-wise, this game uses a mouse. Now, you can change up controls, but the mouse works just fine. Basically, how it works is you move the mouse back and forth to move your little plane, and you click the button and hold it in to shoot your guns. Very simple, very easy to understand, very simplistic. Now let's talk about the actual gameplay of this game. Now we've all seen these Galaga inspired games. Um, this one is very much similar to all the other flying games that I've ever seen. Basically all you're doing is flying around, shooting enemies, killing them, trying not to die. Now you do have a health bar in this game. It's on the right side of the screen. I will put a little box around it so you guys can see it. You have, a, you have different weapons, you can upgrade your weapons, and as you kill enemies, you do gain money to actually be able to do that upgrading. So those are the kind of two different things that you have going for you in this game. For the most part, this is just flying around, shooting at the enemies, blah, 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 blah. You've all seen this kind of game, you know what this is. So there's not really a lot to tell you about here. Now let me talk about the cons for this game. The first con that I have, I'm not gonna, talk about it much because I've already kind of covered it in the graphics section is repetitiveness. This game is completely repetitive 100% of the way through. 
Yes, they throw more enemies at you. Yes, as you proceed, things get more difficult. But it's the same enemies. It is the same background. It is the same things going on almost all the time. So very repetitive game. My second con for this game, they don't do much with the story. It's obvious that they went and they aimed for a story in this game. They said, this game needs some kind of story. And they did do that and I applaud them 100% for doing that. But here's the thing guys, if you're gonna put a story in a game, you kinda gotta support it and kinda explain what's going on. Obviously the dude in the game is escaping from prison. It'd be nice to have a little bit more going for them there. So those are my cons for this game. Let's talk about the overall score now for this game. So the only real question left to ask now is what is this game going to get on our Mumbles review? Now I'm a big fan of these Galaga st style games because uh, the history with them. It's a very historic genre. It's something that uh, a lot of us played as children. Um, a lot of us know of even if we didn't play them as children because we know, you know, the kind of games that they were. If you're going to touch this genre... I think that you should make it your own kind of, or really do something that is unique to the genre. Putting in some upgrades and slapping on some very generic backgrounds in the game isn't a way to do that. And it is for that reason that Xeon 25 is only going to get a four out of 10 on our Mumbles review. Yes, it's a cheap game. And I don't mean to, you know, hate on creators or anything. You guys know I hate to do that. But here's the thing, guys. If I was going to play a game that is Galaga inspired, there's a lot of other games I would choose before Xeon 25. Anyways, guys, this has been my review of Xeon 25. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Please smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, and smack all those buttons. Now, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.